Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another unboxing. And today what we have here is a box that came from Germany from someone who contacted me because of some Kaveco pens. And I have to say this was a little bit too expensive, but I think I have to have these pens. So not all of them will be new to me, but I, I just can say I'm very, very excited. And I'm excited to a point that I want to call to, to this work today. This special Victorinox knife, which is very wintry and festive, in my opinion. And this is the one that I'm going to use. So I'm very, very interested in this. There, as usually in my unboxings, there are no writing samples, just showing some older Kavec pens that I have been waiting for a long time. So this is very well taped, so I don't know where I should open it in a safe way. So, I'm opening this. It has a little note here. Hi, Paul. Looking forward to seeing them, to seeing them back on YouTube. And let's see. I am really excited. I have things here that I think they are very hard to find. And Let's start. The first one is, I can say it is not that interesting, although it is. And I'm talking about a Caveco Sport by Diplomat. This is an older pen, as you know. I've showed you this pen. It has ink residues on the nib. I don't worry about that. Oops, you can see there. I will clean them. And there is some oxidation here to the medallion on top but this pen I have to say that I bought the whole lot so there are six pens inside and this one is just a duplicate but that's how things are so maybe I will resell this pen someday I already had this one that I bought very very recently from I Need a Pen, that store in the Netherlands, and I got this one. So now this one is a duplicate, it has some more oxidation than the older one, than the, the other one that I already have, and it is a, an interesting color. By the way, someone asked me in the last, in previous video, how this Diplomat, by Diplomat Caveco compares with the regular green, and here you have a regular Caveco Classic Sport Green and there is a slight difference in shade of color. They are not exactly the same color. They, exactly, they are not exactly the same. They are very close but not exactly the same. So I brought some pens here on my side for some color comparisons. So this is the first pen. Maybe I will take the box, I'll put the box away, like this, to be easier. So this is the first pen. Now, uh, we'll have more duplicates, and one is here and the other one is there. And as I told you, this was a lot, so there was not that, that much choice. And they are two red pens, basic, simple. And these pens are very similar to the Caveco Classic Sport in red. And I think some were cleaned and they have some still some moist in them, so I will need to re-clean them. And so these are two... Uh, I lost myself. 
what I was saying. This looks like the Caveco Classic Sport in red, but they are not classic sports because they have chrome trim. Let me take this a little bit out of the way because it ruins the color balance of the end exposure. So, these have chrome trim. So it would be a skyline, but it's not a skyline because the skyline was not made in red. Now there is a red edition for the United States and I wonder how these will compare with that new exclusive edition. This is an older version. Let me show you here. We have, let me put this in the middle. The Caveco Sport, Classic Sport is in the middle and you can see why isn't the camera focusing? You can see the tone on this one is a little different. I'm not sure how this will come out in the final video when you look at them, but I can really see a difference. This is more kind of a deeper red, uh, a little darker, and this is a brighter red, a uh, real red. So, there is the, that new edition from the United States, uh, which has that uh, name that I don't remember, Royalty something. Um, and that edition, I have them pre-ordered, but I didn't receive them. They have a color called Deep Red, and I wonder if it is the same Deep Red. Now, about this. I have to say that this color is from something that it's not a skyline, as I was telling you, although when we look at the individual parts, we could say it was a skyline. This, was, this is a part of the an older line that we usually call retro colors. And the retro colors were made in red, yellow, green and blue. They are very old and I found in a, in a brochure by Caveco, an old one, that they called that color, it was in pencils, not on fountain pens, but I think it was the same range. They call it Bunt Sport. So maybe that's the name I will go for and I will try to put information on my website, Caveco Madness. So don't forget to check it there. So it's very nice because these are the red from that. So one of those may be relocated soon also because I have duplicates and I may need to <laughs> get to recover some of the money that I spent. Okay, we are talking about the retro colors. Let's go to in, move into another di direction. And I have here a pen that I think it's the most... Uh, the less interesting pen of the group. This one is not that interesting because also it is a repeated pen, but it is very... Uh, Hard to find. There is this. This is a smart ink, which is kind of a collaboration of Caveco, and it has no Caveco logo, just this logo. So, because I'm also collecting some of the, um, let's say, co-branding, this is interesting to have. It needs to be cleaned and maybe a little bit polished, but I will need to be careful about these in print because it doesn't seem to be engraved, just imprinted on the top and I'm afraid it may wear out. So I'll need to clean this with some attention to it, but however it doesn't have the Kavec Sport engraving on the opposite facet which would be this one. This blue, as I was telling you, it should not be something very unusual and I will need to get here let me check sometimes I, I get lost with my pens just let me check something here I have two pens and I don't know which one is which okay now I know sorry uh, this is uh, as far as I would think this color would be the Kavec classic sport blue which is this one, I think. Well, let me check the fit. Yes, it's this one, the Caveco Classic Sport in blue. And 
the color. Oh, it, it's fun because the imprint on this one is upside down against the usual Caveco imprint. Mm, funny. Um, but the color is not exactly the same. But then I have here the the new version of the blue, which is called navy blue. And let me put the navy blue here. And this is clearly, even more clearly, different. Oops. Sorry. I'm struggling here. This... <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Maybe today you can't notice that, but I'm really excited with this addition to my collection. But uh, I'm very clumsy today. So the color is not exactly the same. So it is a different color, not just, just the same classic blue color with a different engraving or imprint. And that makes me very, very happy. And even when we take the cap off, because sometimes we think, okay, it was exposed to the sun and the color is different. If we compare the colors of the section and even this part of the section that is inside of the barrel. Let's take this out just for comparison. And they are not of the same color. They may look a little bit here on camera but in real life they are not the same pen. So, again, I would say this is an interesting pen, although this is not one of the most interesting, because I think the co-branding are fun, but they are not the most interesting uh, thing ever. So, we still have three, two, two more pens to, to, to check. I'll leave this space here and I'll show you why in a moment. And here I have one of the most exciting pens of this group. This one. And do you know what this color is? This is the green. It has chrome trim. So it is the old green or the retro color green or the burnt sport green. This one has to be cleaned also. So it is a part of this. This one is called the soap green. So what can I say? I'm really, 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 let me take this out of the way. I'm really excited with this because today I can say, let me put these two aside. I can say that I have the full collection of the Caveco Bunt Sport or the retro colors and they are the red, I don't know if it has a special name, the green, the yellow, the soap green, called soap green, the yellow, also called cab yellow, which is an interesting, cool yellow, and the blue that I already had. So, what do you think of these bright colors? I, I, I'm, I'm kind of speechless because I'm really, really happy with this. Now, just for the sake of comparison, I, or to be true, I have to say that I already had a soap green, but it was this one with the crazy imprint on alternate facets, as you see here, and with no Cavex Sport engraving on it, just the imprint. So I already had this color, but not really the traditional way. Now, for comparison, as I was telling you, I will have to bring the classic sport red. So this is the current red you'll be able to have. And I'm very curious about which one will be the red from that USA exclusive edition. I really need to, to get this pen. I already ordered it from the pen thing from United States. Brian runs the store and he's a great guy and I always have good deals with him. Then soap green and let's go for the classic sport green, which is the current green that you can find currently. You have the frosted sport, but okay, on the these solid colors, this is the, the current green that you can see it's very, very, very different. This one is a little bit lighter, but 
this color is not comparable in any way with that one, just green. <laughs> then we have the yellow. There aren't many yellow Caveco pens, but a few years ago Fontoplumo issued a collection of two yellow pens that were called Sunset and Sunrise, Sunset with Gold Trim, Sunrise with Gold Trim, and I brought the Sunrise, still a uh, chrome trim, which is kind of regular color, uh, regular Caveco. This one has the old style of nib, which, or, or at least one of the nib styles Caveco used to use with no breather hole. And this feed that I think it is one of the best feeds Caveco ever used. Just me thinking. If we put it like this, you can see, maybe you can't, but I can clearly see this is a cool yellow and this is a warmer yellow. Another thing that I can clearly see is that these retro colors are maybe one millimeter shorter than the more current Caveco pens. And finally, for the retro blue, I will call to the game the... I always need to check the which one is which. The regular edition Caveco Classic Sport Navy. And you can see really a different colors. These are very bright, strong, vivid colors almost in a tropical way. So I'm very happy that I got to find finally the collection of the Bunt Sport or retro colors in gray, in red, soap green, cab yellow and blue. <laughs> no words about that. And finally, finally, uh, I, this, this table is getting a mess with Caveco pens everywhere. Let me just put some order in these and put them back on their places. There, so this is what I received. Two of them are duplicates now, and these ones I already had. And there's someone missing, this one, sorry. This is unstructured as my videos usually are. And this is just pure Caveco excitement. Now, finally, the last pen that I got. It is a pen that I'm very, very happy to get because it was a pen that I've seen only once. I never seen it mentioned anywhere. It was not mentioned in any catalogs. The, the retro colors were, the, the Caveco by Diplomat were. Sometimes we can see one photo on Facebook or something, but there was one specific color that I never saw before, except for a member of our Caveco collectors and users group on Facebook. And he showed me the, the, the pen and I asked, me, I asked him if, if he was planning to sell the pen and he said, oh, maybe yes, but then he gre regretted to the decision and he didn't sell it to me because it was, he liked how the pen write and he had the pen for a very long time. So I was kind of sad, but of course pens are for writing and he has all the right to have the, his rare pen to write with it. I'm not uh, complaining at all. I, as a collector, I would prefer that I could get it, but okay, no problem. I asked him for a photo. I, he gave me, provided me a photo of his pen and I put it on the Caveco Madness website and it's there for you to see. And now this seller had one of those pens that I've never seen before in any material except for another seller in Germany that once offered me to sell him to sell me one of his pens but it was a rollerball not a fountain pen and I didn't buy it but now so I, I've seen it as a fountain pen once once and a rollerball and now finally it is here so this color is a strange color. Very hard to, um, to describe. It also has some 
ink residues in it, so cleaning will be needed. But that's really... I hate cleaning pens, but not really a problem. Sometimes it's kind of fun because you'll be able to join a new slot on the Caveco collection. So, this is a very, very interesting pen. How can I call it? I, it? This reminds me, as a member of our Facebook group said when he showed, the, when the other person showed the photo, he said it looked like those marbled kitchen counters or some, maybe some plastic chopping boards for the kitchen, which have this kind of material. It is kind of a grey with darker grey speckles or bluish speckles. So, how this pen compares with anything else? It doesn't, really, but, you know, I can't make one unboxing video without comparing stuff with stuff, because it's just me, and I think you may be wanting to know that, because sometimes you may come across with one of those pens and you may need to try to identify, this may be useful. So, what I have here for sure to show you is the Caveco Classic Sport White. So, what can we see? Let me put, to have the engraving in the correct way. The Caveco Classic Sport White is white. This one is grey, definitely. I have also here, for comparison, the Caveco Classic, sorry, Caveco Skyline Sport grey. And this, you can find it online. And this is how it looks. So, much, much darker, not comparable at all. But, recently, in Asia, in Taiwan, I think, uh, there were some pens that appeared, which were called Pebble Granite, or Granite, not sure how, it's, how it says in English, and Cement. And I bought them, it's a set of three grey pens. Don't ask me which is which, I have the information somewhere else, but I'm not sure, and there are some stores that mix the names. So, in some the cement is the darker, and in some other stores the cement is the lighter. So, don't ask me now, because I don't know which one is which. I'm just showing one is cement, granite, and pebble. So, this is the darkest, which is even darker than that one. This is the middle one, and this is the lighter. And if you ask me which one is more similar, this one, which I don't know which one it is. That is another discussion that I don't think it has an answer, unless Caveco knows the answer themselves and they can reply to me. So, we have this collection, I don't know if this one fits there, or even here, no, definitely there. So, Caveco Classic Sport White, Caveco something, speckled grey, rare pen, the pebble, granite and cement col uh, collection, the three of them, and then the Caveco Skyline Sport grey. And now I know I should have put here the black just to make it pretty, but I forgot. So, this is a very nice grey gradient and I'm <laughs> I'm so happy with it. I, I, I'm really, really happy because I have I had this opportunity. So, what I have to say is I thank you so much this seller because he contacted me and we made this deal. Not, it was not cheap and it was I would say it is more than I'm willing to pay for uh, a shipping of Caveco pens, usually. But I would have the opportunity of complete one part of my collection, even though this will give me two uh, duplicate pens. But I think the, the other ones deserved this. So if you sometimes have one Caveco pen that I, don't, that I still don't have in my collection, please reach to me, maybe I'm interested in getting them. If you like this video, I, I, I ask you just to, to like and subscribe and all those stuff and comment below, all, all that, and if you don't... Okay, I don't care, it's not... 
I'm not here for the subscription or for the liking, but if you really like Avecos, please check my videos because I think this kind of stuff may be interesting for you if you're collecting, if you're trying to find them. If you need more information about Caveco pens, you can always reach Caveco and ask for stuff but you for information, but you can also go to our Caveco Facebook group, which is called Caveco Collectors and Users group on Facebook. It is a private group, so you need to ask for admission, but it is a fun community, now over uh, 4,000 members, I'm not sure. 3,000, 4,000, I'm not, I, sorry, I, I, I forgot really about it. I, I, what I can say is that I'm, I'm so excited with this that I, I really forget about what, I, what I'm talking about. I, I'm, I'm really, okay, I checked, 4,500 members. So, nice number for a Facebook group dedicated to specific pens. So if you want more information, you can go there, ask, join the group, ask for information. You can check my website, it's a little bit out of date now, but we have some interesting information there. Sometimes it's easier to see photos and some text instead of video. So it is cafecomadness.com, you can check it, you'll find this information. And uh, finally, I will do soon a video with all my Caveco Sport pens uh, because I've been asked to it. I've done this unboxing video and it is around, what, 25 minutes? So if I go over 150 Caveco Sport pens, I think that video will never end. It will become one of those videos that we turn on when you're going to sleep, just to sleep when we listen to the video. But people are asking for it and I'm anxious to do it. However, I will still do some um, specific sub-categorized videos and soon I will publish a video that I already recorded about the transparent, the fully, uh, the one-colored transparent Cavex port pens that exist or that I have in my collection. So you can see, I will show, I will continue to make several subsets of this video. So if you want to like to find more videos, you can go to my channel, you can go to the to the playlist that is called Caveco Madness or you just go to YouTube and, uh, and search Caveco Madness and you'll find my videos. So, sorry for this long video, I'm really excited. These little babies will get some shower now and they will be joining my collection very very soon so thank you all for watching thank you all for your for keeping coming to my channel and for supporting me and thank you mark for selling me these pens they were expensive but i am really happy with them so this is all i hope to meet you soon here and bye